What is up, you two? Frost the Hobbit in here, and today I'm back with another Sonic IDW review, issue 64. I'm sorry I just kept this so long. We're just gonna get right into it, and it's basically the what last left off. Mimic is Mimic is causing trouble. Silver and Whisper are on, on the case, and the, the main characters are Sonic, Silver, Whisper, Duo, aka Mimic, Tango, Lanolin, which people are getting a lot of hate hatred towards her, and Jules the Jewel the Beetle and Blaze the Cat. And we all know Mimix is here, a traitor here to here to kill here to kill the heroes. And as we go through a little background of Mimic, it was once a former member of the Diamond Cutters. His greed got the best of him, and he betrays his team. Now he disguises himself as Duo. Risk for saying one mistake, and he, if he makes one mistake, he's done. But Mimic as Duo is killing as he is laying a low profile. Which the heroes are, are noticed about that. Silver thoughts give him a little spook, so tripping him over would throw him off. But Lanolin was there to help Duo, not knowing it's Mimic, but hey, she she's looking after him, saying what's going on. Seeing as, and she knows and she knows Silver's over there thanks to her wisp eye being eye out. She wants to explain what's what's with what's with the whole sneaking around. And Whisper comes out that to stop an enemy. Lanolin wants her to explain what's explain what's what's going on here, and she's saying that Mimic is not that Duo is not who she who he seems. He is Mimic in disguise. Lanolin wants to know, okay, that's that's a, that's a tall order. Do you have any proof? Whisper says, "Will soon." Lanolin says, "Okay, I don't tolerate this type of harassment to my teammate, the teammate, because this is not behavior, the type of behavior you, you normally do." And Lan Whisper is not having it, which. As Whispers does not explain, as she tries to get Lanolin to move, Lanolin does not apply as she flips her off, knocking her off from. And people hate her for this. Keep in mind, Whisper started this fight. Well, not it's not really a fight, more of this 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 um this this disagreement discussion here. Whisper did was at fault for this one, and. And Lanolin was only defending herself. She doesn't know the full story. She doesn't know. She, in Lanolin's perspective, she just thinks they're being, they're harassing a teammate, a, a, a new former teammate. And Mimic is, Mimic as Duo is playing the victim here, and he's doing a really good job at it. Lan Lanolin's telling that Silver's the one who would usually do these out of, con are the ones that are out of control. But for you, I expected better. L Whisper knocks her off her feet. And Whisper saying she won't let do won't let Whis Mimic do this again to her. Mimic as Duo tries to get away. Silver heads straight towards him. You thinking that he would escape using his telekinesis to get to you to surround him with all the chairs and furniture. He's saying you got nowhere to run. I would just tell us who you really are. As he puts him on a chair, he said, "Let's have a seat and discuss this over. It's over for you." Mimic with the ma uh, mockery as he fakes his injury, gets off, and actually hurts himself to sell the act, thinking that Silver hurts him. Re really, Silver doesn't know what to do here, and the audience are like, the people in the around here are going, "Did he really hurt that guy?" Playing the victim card, he is so dedicated to the role, which Jules and Tangle comes around. Whis whispers like Mimic would never do something like this. He would never not knowing not knowing how dedicated Whisper is to this how Mimic is to this role. Whisper thought he was the end thought duo was Mimic. Tango wants to know what's what's going on. He's, he's I know it's hard, stop to stop fighting and I'm here for you. Jules say who started this fight? Lanolin pointed at Silver, which in a way, Silver did start it. Did get a little hasty. He did start it in a way, start this fight in a way, and because he was he he rushed things. I, Silver was oh, Silver had the right. I, Silver had the right target. It's just Mimic is playing very careful and playing victim really well here. Jewel said, "Let me understand the situation. You thought Duo was Mimic, the one who." And you attack them. Silver thought he, he would fight back or at least transform. 
Landless it until you can until you can act more respons respons more say act more responsi responsibly. I would it'd be best for you to stay out of the team as diamond cutters. Whisper whisper rip thoughts it'll be a good idea for Silver not to not whispered with for silver to go right now and tank and jules tells tango that to take the founding members to, to stay here as well with lanolin angrily ain't getting angrily looking at tango because i lanolin does not like tangle for her recklessness whatsoever anyway so she would be, she's looking at tango in an angry way saying you better follow orders or else you're kicked out too which Tangle agrees, much to this may, Tangle has to agree with them that Silver is out of the Diamond Cutters, and it's best that he doesn't be a part of this right now. Which Silver has to leave, Mimic with a cocky smirk, he said, I got rid of one part, one, one problem, this will be so much easy for him to infiltrate and destroy the Diamond Cutters from the inside, because he is still playing that victim card pretty well. Later on, we see Mimic as duo in the in a, in a checkup facility. He said, and Jules walks in and says, "Hope that everything is all right. She is sorry for the for the stuff where everything happened. Trust that things will go well properly." Duo playing victim, saying, "Oh, it's fine. I'm I'm okay. I, I get room service here, right?" Jules said, "I was hoping if it, it was up to you, how I, I would like to have you out of office soon and temper but temporarily, of course." Once you recover and rejoin the diamond cutters in field, also, and there are also plenty of ways you can help respiration in in getting in getting involved to help out. Duo slash mimic saying, "Oh me, work for you? Absolutely, I've been happy to do that. Is it good? Looking forward to working with you." As she leaves, mimic with his demonic black eyes saying, "This what an interesting development as things are going his way." things are going the mixed way because he's going to his goal is to steal all the information from the respiration destroy the respiration and get all that information to Fletch the possum because Fletch the possum is waiting for him to be continued in the next issue and plus future issue comics we see a cover of Whisper and Duo together Whisper thinking Duo is an innocent person due to this due to this misunderstanding and she see and both duo and whisper are seeing surge and pit are in the respiration and they are tar targeting amy rose i don't know how that's gonna happen we all know one thing the game characters are safe they're not gonna die because sega will not allow it they will not allow a video game character to die and characters with popularity, they may not stay, they may suffer injuries, but they won't get killed off due to their popularity. But we'll see how this and we see how this goes. Comic book characters do have the ability, will die, but game characters won't. But we'll see how it ends. We meet back with Everville Ruins with Blaze the Cat and Sonic the Hedgehog. Blaze eating a cake and Sonic eating a chili dog, as always, with some supplies they have. It's Blaze saying it was swift, swift of you for Tails and do you get Tails and Amy's lunches through their past adventures now? Sonic says, "Oh, it's good. The Joseph pasta and Oliver are also good. Hot and cold. They're pretty good at these uh, Garze foods. Perfect. At least I can put on some old, but I always at least put up an old chili dog for once." They spot Silver moping due to the events of Mimic, Mimic, and being kicked out of the Diamond Cutters. Blaze and Silver notice that he's upset. Silver Blaze gives her stuff to Sonic so she so she can check 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 on him. Blaze wants to know what's wrong. Oh, I messed things up again, Blaze. Espio gave me a solid advice that it was hard for me to follow when I got protective. Blaze said, "I see. So you're finding a purpose in this time period, considering this is what you're." Victory Garden flourishes, correct? Silver said, of course. I want Play said, I want to harvest bounty eventually. You want to harvest a bounty eventually? Eventually? I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Blaze is telling them to it. You want you will achieve 
that w with full per per proactive actions or with a small detection effort over time. It's basically, in other words, saying that Blaze is basically saying, Silver, not to worry if things out, you will achieve what you're going to achieve in this time period. This just takes time and we're, and you're always, and, it's happening, and, I'm, and we have people to help you support and help you out. And Blaze, Silver appreciates the advice. Please say, hey, as so long as you're willing to listen, I'm willing to help you out. With a slurping sound of Sonic slipping on his drink, he said, you two are great together. And he said, I mean it, Sonic says, you two have always seemed to be the perfect sync. You really complement each other as a duo. It's like how him and Ta how me and Tails operate. Trusting each other, considering, uh, considering covering each other's blind spots. And making sure we won't miss each other's meals, I owe him and Amy pasta. I'll catch you on the flip side, Sonic says. Silver said, you know, there's days I honestly don't know whether to throw a, either he's the coolest guy in the world or to throw a car at him. Which Blaze actually laughs at that. And Silver, I don't think it's a good idea to throw a car at him. That didn't work out well for you in Sonic Generation. Blaze said, but he does have a point. He said, you, but that part of that's part of his charm. And Blaze says, you two, you and Sonic aren't so different after all. And Silver's like, excuse me? Both Sonic and Silver both prefer to take action and strikingly and, stri and strikingly and are, have immense power and use it to protect others. That's what's noble about you two. Blaze said, and Silver says, maybe that's why we're so sick. We're in sick. You're the same as us too. Blaze wants to know, what do you mean by that? Silver says, well, you're the princess of an entire empire and have tremendous amounts of power. Either one of those made you, una made you unappreciable. Instead, you use that position of power to protect people, not just because you have to, because you want to. I think that's inspirational. Which Blaze took a bite of her cake and said, it's my duty, thanks. It's my duty to do to do so, as they thank you one each other. Thank each other. Blaze says this world has seemingly seems to bring out the best in one of us. Silver says it sure does, and you're the one going a lot, seeing lots of it. Blaze says there is still a great deal left to see and understand. How about we do this so together? Which Silver wants to know how so. Is it like like right now? And Blaze like no time like the present. Silver's like okay. Well, is that a time travel joke? Oh, did you really tell a time travel joke? And Blaze said, "What if I did?" <laughs> I like the, these two. We get to see more Blaze and Silver having fun. And Bla Silver and Blaze going out together, absolutely are getting along to see the rest of the world. And they would like to see that. And Blaze introduced Silver in this new location called Soliana. A love is lovely at this time of year. And Silver say that sounds like a good spot. As Silver and Blaze they leave respiration, leave the city, and go out to Soliana. Hopefully they might run into Princess Elise. Hopefully the so the new Sonic Channel art style of Princess Elise, not the realistic version, because they made her adorable and she fits well with the Sonic Unleash art style. And the art style where Silver is ice skating with Elise, with Princess Elise. I hopefully we get they show that in the future. Who knows? But other than that, yeah, that's the the next issue is a heist on Angel Island and a feast for Cream the Rabbit, as the Babylon Rogues are infiltrating Angel Island, and Knuckles is not happy about that. And Knuckles gets the help of the Chaotix probably. And the and and Cream the Rabbit, Gemeral are baking goods. They get an unexpected visitor that involves two skunk boys that might cause trouble. Well, they'll cause trouble. We all know. Overall, that was Sonic IDW issue 64. What were your thoughts on this? Did you enjoy this review? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. As always, take care. Have a great day. Be safe, and most importantly, stay frosty and stay healthy out there. Catch you on later. Make sure to wash your hands. Bye. 
I want to say a special shout out to my following Patreons and fellow new Patreons members here. Uh, KKD Silver, Elian May Maybe, Cameron Carpenter, David Dister, Marcus Angelic Boy, Jay the Real McCoy, Dakota Umlov, Zach Cow, Boss Maker, Nevin Ponzel, Curtis Wildcat, and Matthew Hens Hensley. Thank you for your support for being following Patreons of the Hobbit and Squad. I look forward to seeing y'all in the next video. Do you know what owls do to bats, Mr. Wang? They eat them whole, bones and all. Well, then eat my bone, you son of a bitch.